Okay, so what if I could show you how to zero your scope, your gun, with one shot? Now, I've done a bunch of videos here recently with some lasers and some bore siders and different ways of doing this. And as I was kind of doing stuff, you know, I kind of got this idea that I think I could do it without them. I think we can do the same thing without having a laser, without investing in anything. So we're going to give it a go. A couple, couple things here that we're going to need is we're going to need to be on paper at 100 yards. If not, we can move to the 50, and I'm pretty sure we can make it work there too. But almost nobody's using their optic at 50. Now, I do with red dots all the time, but when I've got a high power scope, no. Uh, I don't want to have a battlefield zero at 50 with something like this. So we're going to try it at 100, and, and let's see if this works. If it pans out, one shot, actually, it would be two shots because we got to have a test test shot, and then our second shot should be spot on in the zero. And that's also assuming the accuracy of your gun. So anyway, let's give it a go. Okay, so I need a solid bag, and we're going to see if I can show you here. Okay, now I'm going to have the crosshairs right on that bullseye. Okay, I'm going to have the crosshairs right on the bullseye. It's kind of hard to do that and get the camera here. Now I want to take my first shot. Hopefully, we're going to be on paper. Okay, so this is only going to work if we're on paper. So if you've got to do this at 50 and then... Go to 100, it's going to be more than two shots. But anyway, I had the crosshairs aimed right there. And it's important that you've got a solid bench and bag. And the shot was up there. <laughs> um, yeah, so you could do the calculations and try to dial that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to put the crosshairs back here in a really secure um, oh, kind of a gun rest. And then I'm just going to make the adjustments and I'm going to dial without moving the gun in the bag i'm going to dial all the way up and so that bullet hole is right in the middle of my crosshairs and then we're going to come back and we're going to fire another shot there if you don't have anything other than the bags okay you can get pretty close you just hold it really still like i said you're going to focus your crosshairs in the bullseye where you want it to be and then you're going to dial and since for the most part it seemed like it was good left and right all we're going to have to do is the up and down as i'm dialing this the key to this though is you've got to hold the gun and the scope perfectly still even if you don't get it in the bullseye by doing this you're going to make a huge difference and you're going to you're going to get it really close but there's another option. If you happen to have like one of the sleds or a gun vise or a gun rest like this. Now, because I'm actually shooting down at an angle, I got to prop it up here. But I think we'll see if we can show you here. I've got it lined up pretty good. Really hard to hold this still, but I think you get the idea. Now I'm going to dial it up very carefully to that bullet. But, uh, let's give it a go. I'm going to switch back to the bag, and we're going to see we're going to see how good I got that lined up. <laughs> it wasn't in the bullseye, but man, was it close! In fact, I want to make just a couple modifications here, and we'll show you. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to count that. I'm going to call that a one-shot zero. This worked. Check it out. There you go, guys. All right, our first shot was way high. And then my second shot, I'm, I'm going to be honest, this was the second shot. But again, I didn't have a bench that was rock solid. In fact, just touching the gun, I could see it move. So actually, I'm quite happy with that. 
Then I bagged it and I put that shot there. It really doesn't get any better than that, guys. Um, without that setup, if you're just bagging it, okay, and you can hold the gun still, you're going to be able to go from here to, you know, around here, which is great. That's going to get you dialed in enough that you should be able to, within one, maybe two more shots, be able to hit the bull. So anyway, this is just another option. If you don't want to mess with laser bore siders or bore siding or any of that, um, if you're able to hold a gun really still, you've got some bags or a vise or something, you're going to be able to dial it down and you're going to be able to get on bullseye within one or two shots. There you go, guys. It is what it is. You can get pretty darn close to a bullseye with two shots with nothing but your scope and some bags, you know, gun vice. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to hit that sub button, guys. It really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're out at the range and we're doing some shooting, you, me, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.